I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you want to know the rules for playing Siamese Mahjong, look for a link in the video description below. It's quite interesting how they've been modified for two players playing two hands at one time. For one thing, there's no Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. If we roll an odd number, we'll be player one. If we roll an even number, we'll be player two. I rolled a seven odd number. So we're going to be player one. The Joker indicates one. We have three jokers, almost news. We have dragons, two pair. We have six, seven crack. Here we have dots with two pair, five and six. Down here, we have bams with three pair, three, seven, eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play a year hand with dragons and then five, six, seven, eight consecutive run second hand down. Five, six, seven, eight dragons. I would push for this hand and then down here we could use this to maybe help with the Kongs and I would try really hard to get double Mahjong we need flowers here but not here we only need two so we could hold these for joker bait till the maybe towards the end of the third wall and then discard these. So we have eight discards and joker bait for two hands. And a lot of times with Siamese Mahjong, I find that I can actually pick a hand because we have so many tiles to work with. In this case, year hand number three, consecutive run number two, and discard these, hold that for joker bait. I rolled a seven. We're going to be player one again. We have a joker, dragons with a pair. We have cracks, one, five, pungs. Down here we have dots with a pair of eights. And here we have bams with three pair, one, three, four. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards?
if these were my tiles, one thing I was thinking would be like numbers with ones and dragons. This would be the second like number hand. But that would be a challenge for this big pung. What would you do with that big pung if you use the ones with the dragons? So for example, let's just put it together. So one red So probably it would look like this, pear, pear, pung, pung, kong. And then maybe play three, four, five, six, but then we'd have a gap of no six crack. So like numbers with ones, joker bait, three, four, five, six, gap. That's what makes me uncomfortable about this idea. Another idea would be to sacrifice the pung, downgrade it to a pair and play odds. Use the dragons with three, four. Even though we have a gap of no flowers, we would have two pair of joker bait though. All those would have to go away. Joker bait, three, four dragon, one, three, five, seven, nine. I think the other option had fewer discards. Maybe we could do the three, four pair hand, even though we have no flowers. There's potential there, three, four dragon, three, four dragon. We would just have to focus here and then use jokers maybe from these to help with this hand. This, this one was a bit of a challenge. The other thing I was thinking, so let's just think this through. We have seven discards and joker bait with two pair. The other thing I was thinking here is that we could maybe do the one, three, five pair hand. We would have to downgrade this pung to a pair. So let's see what we're left with. Right now we have seven discards and joker bait. Okay, now with this option, we have eight discards with one pair of joker bait there. We could play the one, three, five pair hand, and then maybe like numbers with fours. Just hold the dragons for options because we're missing the four crack. Here we're missing a three crack and a five bam. So this pair hand would be the third one down. One, three, five. Maybe we could even hold the five crack and play four, five, four, five pair hand as an option. If we play two pair hands, we wouldn't need a joker. So I would say that would be plan B. I think that's what I would do here. Even though we have a gap, it's a pair hand. It might be worth the risk. And if the pair hand fell through, since it's concealed, we can switch to a one, three, five hand. Let me know what you think about those options. I think I like this one the best. Little odd pair hand, like numbers with four and dragons or four, five pair hand, sacrifice the joker. In which case we wouldn't need the joker bait. So I think that would be
plan B go for like numbers with fours? And that would use all but one pair. We have a joker, some flowers, east and south, white and green singles. Then here we have cracks with pairs of four, six, eight. Down here we have dots with a pair of nines. Here we have bams with two pair, sevens and nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play evens and odds. These I think would go away. So for this hand, we could maybe play the very first two, four, six, eight hand. The challenge is we have no twos. If we could just get one, two, this would be much more comfortable. It would actually be set if we had one, two, because we could pung and kong and we have the flowers we need. There are four, two cracks with two players at the table. Surely we would get one. So that is a gap. So it's a concern but the hand is set up nicely other than that. It's a huge that though. <laughs> so down here, odds, big odds probably. We have seven, nine, and nines. So that's a bit of the challenge because we have no five and here we have a nine. I was thinking of maybe the pair hand third one down on the right five five seven so we wouldn't be able to use this we would need five crack seven crack pairs well pair of five crack single seven crack then we would have to get rid of a nine because we would need pair pair single and then pair of fives and then seven nine so definitely work would have to be done the other thing i was thinking is keeping the nine because if the pair hand doesn't come in with the five and then the five seven here we could switch from the first two four six eight hand to like numbers with nines discard this later and then use this as a two and play the third hand down where the two is a kong Kong, Kong, Kong pair. So I think that's probably what I would do. This looks a bit bleak right now, but we have a lot of discards we could go through until this worked out. But this would use all the multiples, even though there are gaps. There is a hand here too that's got a little potential. Five, seven, seven, nine dragon. 
we would need red dragons. Five, seven, seven, nine, red dragon. That would be the fourth hand down. So all this has potential. I would discard those first. When you play Siamese Mahjong, you're playing with 28 tiles. You can really make just about anything work. But I have found that building around the multiples is the best place to start. Use as many as you can. Sometimes you can't use them all. Earmark those for joker bait. Hold them as long as possible. By the end of the third wall, discard them. You don't want to have joker bait or fresh tiles going into the end game. Build around multiples. Try to have one big hand if you can, or plan a simultaneous mahjong. Because in the end, the total score is compared. And that is when you settle up. Whoever has the highest score wins the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.